Movies. Oh. Music. That's right, folks. These various concert towers from Aperion Audio are so tall and heavy and inconvenient that it comes with an unboxing guide. With really small print and really big pictures for you guys like me who attended the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good and who want to learn to do other stuff good too. So I'm here to help you through this step-by-step -step guide. No problemo. Before we begin, make sure you're looking at the side that is clearly emblazoned with the words, open this side first. Let's check it out. I learned this the hard way when I accidentally started on the wrong end. So once you have the correct side facing up, I would suggest being at least six feet tall to see what you're doing, or at least get a step ladder, or call a friend to lift cut, you up cut, like this. Cut, cut, cut that tape, tape, tape. Cut that tape with the razor blade. Cut that tape, tape, tape. Cut that tape with the razor. Wait a second. Oh sh it's double boxed, double boxed, double, 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 double boxed. That's how you can tell if it's quality, qual, quality, qual, quality. Oh, that's how you can tell if it's quality, quality, double box. Step one. Remove the accessories box and set it somewhere close by. Nope, not there. Not exactly. Oh. A conveniently ginormous Klipsch speaker box also in the garage. Sure. Then remove the high quality, durable as fuck spongy foam, revealing a plastic bag that has been permanently sealed with voodoo magic. Oh, no, just scotch tape. Underneath is some fancy blue velvet that is nicer than anything I'll ever own in my wardrobe. Untie the yellow rope and gently open up the velvet bag until you can see the entire speaker bottom and four screw holes. Step two. From the accessories box, grab the two feet no, these two feet, as well as the little baggie of screws. As you can see, the speaker has a streamlined shape, kind of like Mega Man's blaster. So align the feet accordingly with the shorter foot on the more narrow end and the longer foot on the wider end. Make sure these pointy ends are facing up. Just remember the phrase, stand the sky. Use the provided screws and screw them into place. Screw you, creepo. Step three. Now we got to perform the old flippity do. Start by lowering the box carefully, like in the movies when a goon puts someone to sleep in a headlock and always says, shh. As you can see, the speaker itself sits inside the box a bit, so I would suggest to pull it out just so it lines up with the edges of the box. Now, go to the nearest orphanage and kidnap, I mean hire out some day laborers to help you hold the box flaps back, while you lift it carefully again to put it on its end. Now summon all the strength from your bowels to lift the box off the speaker. Remove any remaining spongy foam, and last but not least, carefully pull the velvet bag off. Congratulations! Now you got yourself a bona fide official Varus concert tower in all its glory. In the accessories box, there are feet pads with little divots in them and rubber on the bottom. I chose those because I have laminate flooring and want these speakers resting on a secure, flat surface. But if you have carpet, you can just leave these spiky ends as they are. My only final suggestion in this process is to make sure you do this unboxing close to the spot where these speakers will be on display. I just did it in my garage for the video, but they are 77 pounds, so it wasn't exactly fun for the poor orphans I forced to carry this speaker from the garage to my living room. Feel free to use this box as a giant extension of your arm as a pretend gun, as a stand-in to help you go over your lines for your next play, or as your Muay Thai sparring partner. Thank you for joining me on this unboxing guide. Stay tuned for the full review coming soon.